up whoopsie days. And there we have it. Outstanding. WineCellarMedia.com. Um, I like this program called The Pose. No, no, it's just Pose. It's just Pose, and it's on the FX. Mm-hmm. And they uh, aired season two. I hope they're recording a season three. Like, I think that, like, um, like as a kid that watched a show called Daria, like, I felt like po- po- Pose is a good one to have. Co- like, Pose is a good show to have as an adult, right? As a teenager that watched Daria, to be an adult watching Pose, it fits for me. I like it because I think Pose is a smart show. Phoenix Kaliter hates Pose. Thinks it's smelly. A TV show cannot be smelly. I don't, then why do you think it's smelly? I don't think it's smelly. Yeah. And I just don't watch a lot of TV shows. She thinks it. She'll watch Defeat Robert Flay. Yes, I will. All the fuck long day. Yes, I will. But will not watch queer, black, and people of color, and transgender, mm-hmm. and Billy mm-hmm. motherfucking Porter mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. rocking the fuck out. Yeah, I don't watch Pose. I've never seen an episode of Game of Thrones. I've never seen an episode of Breaking Bad. I've never seen Sons of Anarchy. How dare you list those with Pose? (laughs) Jesus. All right, folks, look. She's not on the program anymore. Don't unsubscribe. Stay on the Patreon. Stay subscribed through iTunes or Stitch or however you're getting it. Like, you just insulted everybody. You just listed Pose with those. They're popular shows. They win lots of awards. Uh uh-uh. uh. Obama got a Nobel Peace Prize. A dr- excuse me, Drone Obama got a Nobel Peace Prize. Donald mm-hmm. Trump won an electoral college. <laughs> Winning don't mean <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nigga. Hillary won the popular vote. Yeah, and somehow she also won the primary in California. So, Billy Porter. This is on today.com. By the way, love his runway looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. He showed the fuck out for uh, the Met. Oh, my God. That's when I be seeing that nigga. I be like, man, this motherfucker, he is taking up too much of the handsome. Well, you got to give somebody else some of that shit, you greedy fuck. (laughs) 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 Nigga, we want to look good, too. Nigga, this nigga and Tay Diggs and Morris Chestnut just took it all. I mean. Stone cold motherfuckers. Life's not fair. And then everything that they had left over, they just gave it to Omar Epps and then laughed at the rest of it. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Fuck them niggas, man. All right, uh, but this nigga Pose, uh, this nigga Billy Porter is uh, going to play a new character. All right, I have the glaucoma, folks. I need to expand this. All mm-hmm. right. So, he's going to <laughs> join on a, um, a re-release of something by uh, the folks in Sony. Right, which I could have sworn this was some Disney shit, but you know, get down. Uh, he well, can Sony's reimagined version. Hmm. And no lawsuits. No. Somebody paid somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, money went across. Well, hands. I mean, but also, it's a fairy tale from like the 1600s or something. You can't oh, really like okay. so it's copyright not, it's, a copyright. I thought it was originized. <laughs> no. All right. No, no, no. So, uh, Billy Porter confirmed uh, the news to this actual outlet today on Saturday night that he will play Cinderella's fairy godmother in the updated live action re motherfucking make. Uh, the news first broke. Now, if if they would make this shit rated R and have like some action scenes and like the fucking the horse and carriage was getting chased and then Jason Statham came out with a gun and shot somebody, like I'd watch it. But if it's just Cinderella, I I don't really Cinderella. You watched Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, that Beauty and the Beast is the shit. That was the original Daria. <laughs> Yo, dead <clears throat> up. Uh, <clears throat> So fucking um. So they're gonna have this live action remake. Uh, the news first broke uh, at the New Yorker uh, New Yorker Festival during an onstage conversation with the New Yorker's uh, Rachel Syme. There could be Sime or Sim, S Y M E. Sime. Sime. Oh, why not? Hmm. Well, I hope they didn't get stymied. <laughs> Let's see. Well, niggas is grimy. All right. These dad jokes are really old timey. You know that. <laughs> blimey 
so um <laughs> Cabello came on the project in April with uh Blockers. Okay, somebody who directed a program or film called Blockers and their name is Kay Can and they attached uh, to the helm and and they pinned a script and Cabello will be involved in the music for the project which grew out of an original idea from James Corden and the film will be produced by Corden and Leo uh, Perlman uh, through their Full Well 73 banner. That must be like their company or something. Mm -hmm. All right, so Billy Porter's gonna play a fairy godmother. I wonder, like, is it gonna be drag? Is he just like, yeah, I don't know how, how, how's he gonna rock this? I don't know. Yeah, how's how's he gonna fucking rock this shit? I mean, he's done drag before. Okay, see, these are the things I don't know. He was in Kinky Boots on Broadway. Yes, that's right. Billy Pooter was act Pooter. Billy, <laughs> he doesn't have gas, folks. That's me. All right. Billy Porter was actually in Kinky Boots on Broadway, which is an outstanding program. What's it right? about? What Kinky Boots? Yeah. Well, it's about uh, promiscuous footwear. We all know that. <laughs> <laughs> These are the mm-hmm. facts. And after um, Porter left. Who took his place? Oh, no, I think there was someone in between them. But who else played in Kinky Boots on Broadway? Uh, played in Kinky Boots. Mm-hmm. And uh, Billy o- Porter's role. Orenthal James Simpson. Great performance. I give it five Broncos. It wasn't about killing white women. No? No. Uh, Todd Call. Oh, Toddy Todd. I taught him everything he knows. I want Todrick Hall to work with Tech Nine, like <coughs> for the fact that those are two very loud, boisterous black perfectionists. Like they, they would make something perfect, cartoonishly perfect. Nothing out of place. Todrick Hall and Tech Nine make it happen, folks. All right, and uh, that's WineCellarMedia.com. All right. And if you want promiscuous footwear, <laughs> you can go to patreon.com slash wine cellar media fund or, uh, or, and, uh, and you can subscribe and, uh, and then you get uh, early access to shit. I'm about to upload some shit before I go to bed tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess if you're hearing it, I uploaded it. And, uh, and there's also paypal.me slash Phoenix and William. If you just want to hold a nigga down, uh, shit is real and we're going in. I signed up for overtime uh, on, at the factory all week next week, mm-hmm. took a couple days off. And of course, when I took a couple days off, the car is smoking mm-hmm. and the cat got a bug in its throat. Uh, so I was a like, maggot that had to be removed. Uh, a, war- a warble. Yeah, it's like a fly though, right? And then it lays the egg and then like the maggot comes out. Yeah, and the maggot can get in the cat's nose if the cat is messing around with a rabbit's nest or wherever the well, fuck Well, the eggs was. get in. The eggs. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's no good. No good. Yeah. There's literally a hole in light-skinned Killmonger's throat right now. Because apparently the vet, they don't sew those up when they remove they those. They did not sew it up. I was a little surprised it didn't get, like, a little stitch or two. Yeah, that's yeah, and that's all it would take. It's a tiny hole. Yeah. But it's, like, it's still a hole. Right. Like, it's a hole in the body that's not supposed to be there. Only the holes that evolution put in the body should be there. I mean... I guess it did evolve those maggots. Mm. But also, they're not supposed to get in cats. That's only because cats, well, I guess curiosity. curiosity killed the cat. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yep. It reminds me of that snail shit. Did I show you the snail? Uh, no. So there's like <clears throat> some type of parasite. I think it's also a type of fly. But it um, like wants to be eaten <clears throat> by birds which is weird because that's where it lays its eggs. So then the eggs come out and the bird poop and snails apparently eat bird poop. So the snails get the parasite and it literally like zombifies them. Like it changes their color. It takes over their like nervous system and makes them move. And then in their eyes, cause you know how snails eyes have like the, like the protruding. Oh yeah. Things? yeah. It like turns them colors and they look so like to attract birds to peck out the snail's eyes so that it can continue the cycle and lay eggs in the bird's intestines again. It's like circle of life. It's a fucked up circle of life. 
But then there's something else about the fucking snails, right? Cause like, cause those snails, they fucking, they come to your house, they're on your porch, uh-huh. right? And you fucking, you pick the bastard up, you toss it, and then it lands, busts its shell, all the shit, and then the next day it's back on the porch again, and you look at the snail and you go, hey, the fuck's your problem? Training day, great movie. That's right. Wow. It's all about smiles and cries. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, but yeah, patreon.com slash wine cellar media fund. Paypal.me yes. slash Phoenix and William. Yes. Phoenix Collider. Yes. Doing swap stuff. Yes. Doing swap cast. <clears throat> yes, actually. Oh, when? Oh, tomorrow morning. Shit, yeah. Shit, yeah. Because I have some stories to cover. More swap cast. <laughs> The folks want it. And remember, <laughs> if she what so if you have some stories. Yeah. So you know each one's gonna be its own individual episode. I think so. And then that means each of those episodes, Patreon early access first. Yes. And our Patreon is not a tiered system. All right. You <coughs> sign up for what you uh for what capitalism will allow you to sign up for. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and you know what? On the real to real, it really is like there's morality to it because Folks actually do sign up based on that. Yeah. It's dope. And we appreciate the holy fuck out of it. We buy groceries. Mm-hmm. All right, Father Muckers. Please be as safe as possible wherever you is be and whatnot. <laughs>